Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw aboard Explorer One. Explorer Journey's brand new ship here. Uh, we're actually on the very first cruise and we're here in the fabulous uh, lo uh, lounge and uh, lobby bar here. And it's really one of the most fascinating places in the store. But I'm here to talk about food on board and we've actually had a lot of that. I'm here with uh, Frank Garanger, who's the uh, head of culinary for Explorer Journeys. And we're gonna talk a lot about all the different kinds of food you can get on here. I've actually been indulging quite a lot and it's only been three days into the cruise. I'm a little worried you're gonna get me in trouble towards the end here, but we actually have well, the wellness manager afterwards, so she's gonna get me back in shape. Anyway, we're gonna to talk to Frank about the, the culinary uh, program here and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. Frank, first of all, what is what is the culinary philosophy you've adopted for this this ship? What what are you trying to do here with with the cuisine? What we try to do is actually um, to really focus on the product, which is very important for us. Is to really uh, get the best product available in the market, mm -hmm. so that we make a simple cuisine elaborated because of the product. So we really uh, focus on the first having the right ingredients for us, but also we have the largest uh, ratio of cooks per passenger, so oh, really? we really yeah. well, can... I know the crew is pretty, it's almost more than one to one, crew to, crew to guests, but you're telling me you maybe have as many for the culinary product too, right? I have 120 chefs on oh board, so which is a, a very large, uh, but um, and all come from a five-star operation background, mm -hmm. and uh, for us it's very important is to really uh, re redefine what will be the luxury when it comes to food on board the cruise line. Well, it really, you have refined, you redefined it because I'm amazed. And let's talk about some of those restaurants. Uh, the two kind of, I would call them the main restaurants, Fil Rouge and Met Yacht Club, are in the stern of the vessel. And I've, I haven't done Met Yacht Club yet, but uh, Fil Rouge the other night, I have to tell you, for a walk in restaurant, I was astounded. This would be a premier restaurant and have reservations only anywhere else. And the, the quality of the menu and the extent of the menu is just simply amazing. Yeah, Fil Rouge is uh, what we try to do. It's uh, upgrade French brasserie, like we will find, for example, in Lyon when you go to Paul Bocuse Brasserie, which, me which means we have some traditional French cuisine and some little bit more elaborated. And then we are also, one more time, we are focusing a lot on the quality of the product we, uh, we are serving over there. So, uh, yeah. It's our French elegant restaurant. It is, it's a really elegant restaurant and, and you can walk right in every night and then in the morning, I just had breakfast there. What a quiet, wonderful place to have breakfast. It's very nice and we also have some signature dish that you have to try. I, I did try the eggs this morning. With the caviar. The ca with the caviar, it was very good, but more important, your uh, pain au chocolat, chocolate croissant was superb and that's that's one of my ratings of any ship or any hotel I'd be honest with you and you you hit it that's this is perfect it, it, it was all over my shirt so that was good right yeah exactly uh, I'm, a, I'm a son of a baker in <laughs> France so you know for me uh, croissant pain au chocolat the baguette on board is very very important we do our croissant pain au chocolat with Isigny butter from Normandy and then we uh, also make uh, our special baguette exactly the same baguette that is served in uh, Palais de l'Elysée in France for the yeah. French president. So it's the same recipe, same flour. I had, I'm having those baguettes a lot, sadly, uh, which is good for me, tastes good, but boy, I can't resist them. They are per absolutely perfect. I'm so surprised you can have that quality on, on board a ship. Yeah, it's uh, many years of uh, experience that I had uh, on board the ship and uh, I always wanted to do it the way I think is supposed to be. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very important to focus again, getting the right product and to be able to serve something unique. Absolutely. So your baking is amazing. Now, the other kind of main restaurant is called the Med, Med Yacht Club. What, what is that? I have yet to go to that one. But. Med Yacht is... Um, family style restaurant, yeah. uh, casual, you can arrive, it's a sharing concept, right. you order different tapas from Spain, you have some uh, beautiful fresh pasta from Italy, and then we have some touch of food from uh, North of Africa, Greece, uh, South of France, 
So it's a really a Mediterranean type of food and uh, very casual. You enter, you don't need any booking. Yeah, I'm looking um, for it. I may try to go to lunch. They have lunch occasionally there. And if I can't get to dinner because we're going to run out of days after a while, we just have to stay on board to keep on going. Now, then you go to what, I mean, we saw, just talked about two amazing restaurants, but you have a lot of specialty restaurants. And of course, the, 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 the kind of marquee one is Anthology. And, and I'm supposed to have that experience a little later in the cruise. What is Anthology? all about? Anthology concept is about uh, we wanted to get some uh, talented chef on board from Michelin star restaurant and um, having people that share the same philosophy simple cuisine but top quality product so we start with uh, Mauro Uliasi uh, which is our first uh, chef Italian chef where is uh, a lot to do about seafood the food is spectacular I have to say and uh, we have a wine pairing to go with yeah, our right. second chef in October will be Emma Bankson from Aquavit in New York the first oh, very uh, famous yeah. yeah very famous the first uh, woman with two Michelin star in US and uh, same she's uh, Swedish and she really have a, a very simple way of, of cuisine but very very tasty and this is really uh, what we're looking for. So well, we're already working on the... And, and so this is where you have sort of your special guest chefs come on board and, and, and are overseeing the cuisine for that period of time, right? Yeah, just for this restaurant. Okay. They're really and, focused and it on is this. an extra charge for this one. I think it's the only one that has an extra charge as far as I know. Right? Yeah, it's extra charge to, uh, because we only can serve uh, 30 to 40 guests maximum. Right. So we could not uh, have a rotation of all the passengers on board for well, this. Well, I'm looking forward to my event. I think it's in a couple days. And then, of course, you have an Asian restaurant, Sakura. Uh, talk a little bit about that one. Of course, Asian food is so popular. And, and I've already I've eaten lunch there. Uh, I hope to have dinner one of these days. So what is Sakura all about? Sakura is actually... Uh, very upscale uh, type of sushi so to create this uh, sushi program uh, i have been working closely with the european champion of sushi and second in the world championship michael pankar and we uh, developed together a very special sushi that is really uh, nothing to do with what we see, see a little bit everywhere no, the nobu favorite thing we really design our own uh, sushi brand and we will developed it. We bought our uh, rice in Japan from a special farm. It's everything. We have the tuna from Balfego in Spain, which is animal that we get on board at our minimum from 180 to 400 kilo each animal. So uh, top quality of, uh, of tuna. And um, so this is, yeah, a big part is the sushi. But beside this, I have created a menu that is um, touching countries such as Vietnam, Thailand, uh, not Chinese, but uh, also Malaysian a little yeah. bit. So it's Pan-Asian, yeah, uh, crispy. So. We share the concept, you, you enter, and uh, it's really uh, also family style because everything goes in the middle and everybody can test. It's crispy, it's spicy, it's full of life. It's fantastic well, that's concept. That's a dinner experience, and I am looking forward to that. I had a lunch, quick lunch back there on a bento box or something, but oh, that, yeah. that was a quick one just to go in there. Now, uh, last but not least of the main, the, the, the full restaurants is Marble uh, and, and Co., I believe. The, it, it's a steakhouse, but maybe it's a little more than that, right? It's much more than that. It's completely different. You know, Marble Co is a European steakhouse, which means we didn't take USDA prime beef and have different uh, uh, cut. We decide to go and find the best quality of meat all over Europe. So we have Swabi from Sweden, we have Simmental from Germany, we have Jerziez from France, we have Chianina from Italy. And uh, the idea was to, okay, come here and uh, you, you, will, you will be able to test different flavor of breed from Europe. And then beside this, we have also some very nice appetizers such as the crushed potato caviar, and, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't sound too bad, right? No, it sounds very good. <laughs> With the Normandy butter, it's very nice. Oh my God, so that sounds wonderful. Again, an experience I'm going to enjoy uh, in, in a day or so. And then, uh, those are kind of your main ones. And then you have uh, your kind of uh, other, other food and beverage outlets, one of which is the chef's table, which I think we're doing tonight, which is actually a cooking, sort of a cooking class, but we're actually having uh, dinner up there tonight. Yeah, the chef's kitchen is uh, what I call the secret chef's table. It's uh, only uh, decided by the captain, uh, the captain and the uh, hotel manager on board. So they invite uh, once a cruise their VIP and uh, I'm uh, cooking something that comes from the market. So what are, what are we getting tonight? Because I'm a surprise. It's a, it's a big surprise. <laughs> well, it is for the captain, so you better have something good here. So we're looking forward to it. It really is. I'm really. I, we were originally going to be in uh, uh, Fiel Rouge, but now we're here at the 
at the, the you said the chef's uh, kitchen. So that's going to be amazing. Any other food? And, I mean, you have so many here for a very pretty small ship. You have a lot of restaurants. Anything else that you have? Yeah, we have Empyrium. Oh, uh, uh, we cover, we get a mar mark mar uh, marketplace emporium, which is really exactly. crucial, and that's the place I've eaten a lot uh, because it is is cooked to order in many cases. Uh, the pe I have to tell you, the pizza, uh, super, right? For the pizza, we went to design our own flour uh, in Italy with a company. We uh, did different touch. It's a very high percentage of water. You can eat. Few pizza, you're not gonna feel bad. They are very light, they are crispy. That's Somebody my problem is that I've been eating a few. I, I get one and then I go back, wait a minute, I think I'll have another one there. <laughs> and then, of course, I say, wait a minute, I love that fresh pasta that they're gonna make on demand. So I go over there and have that. And then the other day I said, well, boy, that lobster tail looks pretty good. So I had that. So <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't. And then this, this is open uh, pretty much breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's really the marketplace. You know, I hate the word of buffet and I don't want to hear the. Yeah. This world because uh, we're gonna ban the word buffet, right? Completely, even um, though it's French. Right? <laughs> Emporium is completely different. You know, you really have uh, you have uh, 20 people behind the line, uh, cooking, serving. We cook the fresh pasta, as you said, the walk of the day. We do a burger, even if you're on the nice burger. We roast in front of you yeah, the so chicken. We have churrascheria. It's, yeah. it's an open kitchen, almost. It's right? an open kitchen. Yeah. It's true. I mean, the whole kitchen is there. Yeah. You can see the entire kitchen. The people they're making mise en place for the night, but in the same time they serve you. They cook a la minute. It's fantastic place. I really, I really love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, some of your, a lot of your restaurants have open kitchens. I know Sakura has an open kitchen in the back, but it is pretty amazing how to do it. I got to tell you, the food has been amazing in just a few days we've been on board. Uh, I have a few more days left. Uh, you do a fantastic job here. Uh, you're not going to go away hungry, and you get a lot of different choices uh, wherever you go. Uh, anything else you want to tell all of our travel advisors out there who are booking clients on board about what they can expect for cuisine here? No, yeah, yeah, please come to see us. We are very welcome, everybody, and we will be uh, really making the best for you. Uh, I can guarantee that uh, the energy we put, the budget we put, the amount of cooks that we have on board will make your uh, cruise unforgettable. Absolutely, and mine so far has been very unforgettable. Uh, and you're not going to tell me what's tonight, right? You're not going to give me a hint? Okay, you have uh, one big fish in salt crust. The rest I don't tell you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a big fish in salt crust. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Again, Frank, so much, really amazing cuisine, amazing. Every restaurant I've been has been top in the line. As you said, Marketplace Emporium, uh, that's an amazing place too. Again, thanks so much. And look, we're just, you're looking forward to uh, going on more cruises with this wonderful line and with this ship. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, and uh, it was a real pleasure to share this, uh, this beautiful talk with you. Absolutely. Thank you, Brian. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.